Okay, how are you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens, uh, the inventor of the Fusion Silver, Fusion Black, and also the Platinum 4K Cinema Screens. Now, you guys know that we have, we have a screen, have, have a screen uh, called Project, actually not Project anymore, Future Tech 4K. Now, we have been showing up quite a little bit of these screens. Um, I've actually shown up quite a lot of the screens on a few Facebook uh, forum sites and got a lot of publicity from the screens, especially uh, from a few big name companies that are interested in uh, the technology of these screens. Now, we were actually a little bit on the, uh, on the, um, on the, uh, on the rails on whether or not we we're going to allow the company to take over uh, the future tech screens or we were actually going to do it ourselves so um, we have decided that we are going to be selling the screens ourselves now the reason why we decided on that number one we don't need another company to do it for us uh, number two uh, we already have uh, a um, we already signed a non-disclosure with another company, which I'm not going to say the name, uh, for another project we are working on. So we have more than enough on our plate uh, to be able to uh, use this technology and sell this technology on our site. Now, the uh, future tech screens are uh, actually, like I said, a little bit or much more advanced than what most people are used to seeing. Uh, we had a guy on Facebook basically used this pretty much uh, asking us over and over again you know when was this going to launch how much are they going to be it's a big price a big question right there when are they going to launch and how much are going to be and the sizes are going to come in now we will be working on sizes from 100 inch all the way to 150 inch and from ratio sizes of 16 9 to 239.1 um, but for right now, when the screens launch, uh, the only sizes that will be available will be 116.9. You have to understand, uh, the bigger the screen, the more uh, chemicals and, and, and materials that have to be used, and the screen become, the price jumps a little bit more in the screen. You know, it's just understandable. Also, too, you know, shipping costs and all that. So uh, we need to just map it out. We need to basically move in baby steps when it comes to designing bigger screens in this form to see exactly how much it's going to cost us and how much it's going to be uh, how much it would cost for our, our consumers or our customers all right so we have to do this slowly all right well trust me it'll get there now uh, the beautiful thing about the future tech screens is they're completely borderless they take on tons of ambient light uh, they don't fade they don't wash out you can use them in fully lit environments and um, one of the things I want to explain is so I get these emails from time to time. I get these requests where people say, well, I want to see what it looks like with the lights out. It doesn't make a difference. If the screen, the hardest thing to do is to get a screen to be able to perform in a fully lit environment, be hit with any angle gain, and be able to produce a magnificent picture without fading or washing out or the picture just becoming completely unnoticeable. So that's what you want. You want something you can use in a fully lit environment. You want something where it doesn't make a difference of the color of your walls or how much square per inch you have in your environment. It doesn't make a difference if you don't have to use a uh, dim light environment, light controlled environment, a dark environment. You don't have to. Because here's the kicker. This is what people have to understand who make these comments. I mean, here's the thing. If projection screens are ever going to get to the point where they're going to be considered equal to a TV or better than a TV, they're going to have to be able to perform in the same environment of a TV, which means a TV can be used in a fully lit environment without tampering with the lights, without doing all these, keeping it away from windows and some TVs you guys seem actually blare out in your windows, but you know what I'm talking about. That's the only way people are going to really solidly say, you know what, I'll replace my TV and get a projector. You have to be able to prove that. So this is where Future Tech comes in. They look literally like TVs. All right, so I'm going to remove this real quick. That's some talking so you can see uh, the advancement of the screen. Now the black screen is called Black Nanotechnology. This is a Future Tech screen. This is a black version of the screen. It's only at 25% done. There's still a lot more work to do. The screens you're seeing on the floor, these is, that is the um, Titan Gold, and that right there is the uh, 47AG. 
47 AG screen can produce a white level that's actually whiter than the color white itself. I will post that at the bottom of the comment section. It's also fantastic for low entry level projectors. It can boost your projector's performance by 50%, even the Lumen's performance by 50%. Check out the video comment at below. Now this is the Titan Gold. The Titan Golds are used for all different forms of applications. Very flexible as you can see. The Titan Gold basically is a fantastic screen for 3D applications and so forth. They're fantastic also for gaming. I, I've actually done some gaming on that screen. It's actually freaking amazing. Now, some of the screens will be flexible, some will not be flexible. Uh, these screens are very easy to hang. You don't need any tools required. We are working with the company on designing the hanging mechanism that will allow you to connect it to a wall, mirror, brick, whatever you want to connect it to. You can just slap the screen up there and you're done. That's basically about it. And since the screens or some of the screens will be flexible, this will make them easy to design your own customized curved screens. So, like I said, there's so many advancements in the technology. Now, as in Lumens, Lumens requirement for the Titan Gold and for the uh, AG 40, 47 AG is as low as 200 lumens. Uh, the Black Nano is still in testing, so we haven't had a chance to test it on a low entry level projector to see exactly how much the screen will tolerate. And uh, like I said, um, it's a lot of so it's still a lot of testing. You know, we have some people who still sent us a message, just like, uh, "Where can I buy the paint?" No, this is not a paint, not a blackout cloth. Man, if you ever if you knew the process that went in, went into actually doing one of these screens, like I said, not by paint. This is an interesting process. Can't tell you what it is. Can't give you too much information on it. But what I can tell you is the process is interesting. Very, very interesting. It's like if you mess up, you screw up big time. So anyway. As you can see, like I said, screen is in a fully lit environment and it looks fantastic. Um, let's walk over to the screen. You guys can see up close. Let's go over to the screen. See it. So as you can see, I can turn to the side from any angle. You got screens out there that'll cost you four and five thousand dollars if you did this. That screen will become jet black. This is why I do these demonstrations to show off the screen's incredible uh, angle gain capability. Like I said, as fellows, a couple of people said they look just like LED TVs. And that's what they're designed to do. They look like TVs. All right. See how cool that looks. Jet black. All right. So let's come over here. We're going to go back over here. Um, now let's talk about price. Now we're trying to keep the prices at a reasonable price, but you understand the technology is expensive. So you know, like I said, we're trying to keep it reasonable. And somebody asking us, will the screens cost as much as the supernova screens and so forth? Because you got some screens out there, man, just for a hundred inch screen, you will pay four to five thousand dollars easily. And these are screens that basically that will have a narrow viewing cone. Not all of them, not saying all of them, but some will have a narrow viewing cone and these screens will turn black on the edges. Now, mind you, uh, the Future Tech at 100 inches will be coming in at the price range of $1,900. We will be doing pre-orders on this screen, the only screens that will be available around the particular launch. Like I said, we're still working on the prices and how much it's going to cost us to design the bigger screens. Um, we will be working on a pre-order. Pre-order list will be limited, which means that we will launch a certain amount and that's it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's a lot, there's a lot on this, there's a lot on this. Also to um, overseas customers, because like I said, it costs a lot of money to ship a screen of 100 inches overseas. We are working on a uh, screen that is extremely flexible. You wouldn't, I'm not going to say too much about it, but all I can say is it is going to be very interesting and you're going to freaking love it. All right, so let's, uh, let's get started on this. I should have been doing this while I was talking, but the music was a little loud. Just want to show you. Now mind, this is a black screen. The difference between the, the nano, uh, the black nano technology, it can uh, disperse uh, a very bright screen without the screen becoming hot spotted or having any screen glare. And do this in a fully lit environment with no problem. Can you imagine, that's somebody said, wow, can you imagine watching TV and sports and video gaming and everything else on the face of the sun on these screens? You know, 
people, some people don't understand what they mean by the angle gain. Well, the angle gain is basically you should be to turn your camera, that's, that's my socks right there, you should be to turn your camera any position you want and that screen should never ever become dark around the edges. It's going to pop in front of the projector really quick. And you see how that looks, just like a TV. And this is on an uncalibrated projector. You don't have to calibrate your projector when it comes to these screens. This is designed to be made easy. Just take it out of the box, hang it on your wall. It's super thin, super lightweight. It is zero edge. We're talking about completely borderless. And looks and realistic, like it looks just like a TV. Doing this in the four wheeled room. If you notice, none of the edges are dark. Look at this. You don't see any dark edges. Look at the contrast compared to the wall. And like I said, if, if people are gonna people wanna go out there, now mind you, if you went out and you bought a hundred inch 4K TV. I mean, you're talking about maybe ten, maybe fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, depending on the maker. You know what I mean? You can buy a 4K projector for around, I say, uh, I've seen them for about two, three thousand dollars for a 4K projector. Now, the screen is nineteen hundred dollars. You pretty much got a very, very good setup at a hundred and sixteen nine, and you wouldn't even get that in a TV, a 90 inch TV at that cost would easily cost you around 10, maybe 15, 16 thousand dollars. You have any idea what a 100 inch LCD TV costs? They're about a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars for that TV. And that TV is 11 feet high because you got all that the, the, the plastic around the screen. The ask screen is 11 feet high and it will cost you a hundred thousand dollars now as in projection screens a supernova at 100 inches is going to cost you anywhere in the range of you're talking about four to five thousand dollars here you got a flawless screen how flawless this screen is this screen will only cost you nineteen hundred dollars for a hundred inch Okay guys, I'm gonna sign off here. Got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of orders to take out today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. Um, yeah, we decided that we, we, we were gonna actually take charge over this screen. We have quite a few companies that are interested in the technology and we know what's gonna happen if we do. We have to probably sign some contracts in there to make sure that they keep the screen at a certain price. But you know, we wanna make sure that the new technology uh, comes out on the market and it doesn't cost five thousand dollars it can cost six thousand dollars you know you don't have to have an insanely projector to use it like you have to have this ultra short throw ten thousand lumen laser projector it's going to cost you a down payment for a, a apartment you know so we want something you can use a simple projector on and you don't have to go through the painstaking nonsense of equalizing your lights to get them to actually adapt to the screen and the environment and all the other nonsense you have to go through with calibrating your projector so you get a perfect picture you know you don't have to go through that with these screens and if you decide that hey I want to do a curved screen well, think about it these screens are flexible so you get a curved screen and you get a flat screen at the same time like I said there's no hardware there's no trying to mount the screen here and there just take it out of the box and just connect it to your wall you're done that's it okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video demonstration updates on future tech 4k um as in the price for the black uh, nano uh, technology it will be separate from the price of these screens right here the uh, we don't know what the price will be for the 100 inch um, but we are working on like i said trying to keep the price fair for everybody all right, hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Look how amazing that looks. So I got to back up here a minute before I sign off. Look at this.
Look at the background of the wall and look at that screen. Just look at that. Just gotta do this. This is freaking insane. You gotta admit, look how beautiful that screen is. That black nano is freaking sick. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're working on it, guys. We're working on it. Trying to keep the price fair for you guys. I'm already up to uh, a lot of you not. Right now, I got somewhere around 10,000 pre order requests already in my email. Already in my email box for this screen. We just want to know exactly what the cost is going to be. So now you guys know, uh, 169 is going to be around $1,900. Um, as for the uh, the black nano screens, we haven't decided the price on that yet. But like I said, we're going to keep it. It's not going to be it's not going to be by much, but you know we got to keep the price fair for our customers. All right, guys, you all have a good one. Thank you all for watching.